In this video, we will examine how to run ordinary least squares regressions in Stata. ORS is the most commonly used linear regression method. We use the command regress in Stata to estimate the ORS regression models. Let's open the National Longitudinal Survey of Women dataset. Suppose we are interested in the relationship between the hourly wage and several other variables in the data, such as educational attainments, marital status, and union membership. Could they explain wages? Let's run a linear regression with the hourly wage as the dependent variable and grade, age, married, union, as the independent variables. The dependent variable is also called the outcome variable. The independent variable is also called the explanatory variable. We type regress, wage, age, grade, married, union. Let's execute the command. In the, in the results window, we see the output of the ordinary least squares regression. There were two parts of the output. The upper part contains the model statistics, and the lower part contains the estimated coefficients. Let's focus on the lower part first. We see that the outcome variable is wage. There were four explanatory variables, grade, age, married, and union, and one constant. The columns give information about the estimated coefficients, the standard errors, the t-statistics, the p-values, and the confidence intervals. The coefficient of the constant term is computed when all the explanatory variables are set to zero. It is not likely to happen. It's not of interest in applied economics. Let's interpret the slope coefficients. For example, for one more grade completed, the hourly wage increases by 0.7 dollars on average, holding other factors fixed. The T statistics and the P values tell us whether the coefficients are significant. In the model, three of the four coefficients are statistically significantly different from zero at the 5% level. In other words, they have some expenditure power in the model. Single workers earn upon four more dollars per hour than married workers. Union members earn one more dollar per hour than other workers on average. Other things equal. The variable age is not statistically significant at the 5% level. The variables grade and age are continuous variables. The variables married and union are dummy variables with two values, 1 and 0. For the dummy variables or categorical variables, we can use the prefix i dot to tell data they are categorical variables. We specify the base levels option so that the base group would be included in the output, telling us it is the base level. Alternatively, we can set them show base levels on before running regressions. So we do not need to use the base levels option for each model. We have another categorical variable, race, in the data. It has three categories, white, black, and other, using the idoc prefix. 
we estimate the coefficients for each category. The white is the base category or base group. Black workers earn upon six dollars fewer per hour than white workers. By default, Stata will take the first category as the base group. All results should be interpreted relative to the base group. We can change the base group by using the IB dog prefix. We specify IB two dog in front of the race variable. Now. Yeah. The black workers become the base group.